let's see, set RGB, and then we give it that buffer and actually we want set pixels buffer and uh, we have those same optional values there but we don't need them all right so let's give that a run and there we go we inverted our image um, we can change this we can make one of those zero and it would make it yellow that kind of thing uh, one thing we should do when we're writing a filter like this is save and undo All right, so save and undo. That way we can um, restore that later. Uh, one optional thing you can do, oops. One optional thing you can do with save undo is give it an undo string. So uh, on the undo browser, you'll be able to see what actually created that undo point. So let's call this uh, invert and make yellow, <laughs> whatever. So save it. I'll run it. I mean and. Uh, while we're thinking about it, let's look at the undo buffer. Yeah, undo and make you It's there. All right. So that is a look at the new uh, new way of working with pixels in Howler. Uh, there are some other options there, but it, it fixes some of the basic problems of the original uh, setup, like having a, an extra padded pixel and uh, give some other options of how uh, pixels are stored um, there are also some other things in there I said get RGB uh, that way you can still get uh, you can still get separate or red green and group red green and blue buffers if you want to in, in byte arrays um, let's see what else is in here there's you can get the alpha by itself now uh, let's see. You can get the selection. Um, that's sort of in there for the future. They probably both do the same thing. Um, and that's about it for that object. I mean, it's really uh, alpha blend with undo. That's an interesting one as well. Um, it's really a simple object. It just takes care of that one thing of getting and setting pixels. So uh, let's look at this briefly, though. Alpha blend with undo. This is the way we support alpha channel blending. Uh, let me render this back out to here. And say we had a selection on there. <clears throat> See, none of our code here actually is doing anything to support alpha channel. Uh, but what we do is we call that... Uh, right here after setting the pixels we call that i dot alpha blend with undo and there you have it now everything only takes place inside of that alpha channel even though we wrote didn't write any code for that what that does is it takes this undo we saved and alpha blends it with its selection uh that's like an automatic way of supporting alpha channel uh without having to write any code so uh, thanks again for watching and talk to you later.